Sang Vinoba Bhave walked for more than 10,000 miles across the length and breadth of India. During these journeys, he asked for gifts of land for redistribution to the landless. In the preface to his book, The Essence of the Quran, he wrote, For years I have been going on this pilgrimage, seeking gifts of land for the poor. In these journeys, my main objective has been uniting of hearts. In fact, all my actions have been motivated by the same objective. Acharya Vinoba Bhave is often referred to as Vinoba Ji, the suffix Ji being a mark of respect. He was widely regarded as having been the spiritual heir of Mahatma Gandhi. In fact, Gandhiji himself referred to him as his son. Dr. Shankar Dyal Sharma, President of India, inaugurated a combined celebration of the centenary of Vinobaji's birth and the 125th anniversary of the birth of Mahatma Gandhi. Speaking on the occasion, he said, Vinoba Bhave was a great saint who synthesized revolution and peace, science and morality. Srimati Madalsa Narayan knew him from his early days with Mahatma Gandhi. मुझे बाबा विनोबा जी बापू के पास कैसे आए ये भी एक बड़ी दयी घटना है ये जा रहे थे There is an interesting story about how he came to Gandhi ji In 1916 विनोबा जी left home for Benares a holy city on the river Ganges He planned to go either eastwards from there to join the revolutionary freedom fighters or north to the Himalayas on a spiritual quest. At Benares, Gandhiji delivered a historic speech. It was a rousing call for winning political liberty as well as for serving the poor. From that speech and a subsequent exchange of letters, Vinobaji was convinced that working with Gandhiji could lead him to freedom as well as spiritual enlightenment. Vinobaji joined Gandhiji's ashram and stayed in this cottage. With his dedication to study and physical hard work, he became one of Gandhiji's closest associates. He is seen here with Gandhiji and Dr. Rajendra Prasad, who was later to become India's first president. These days, the ashram founded by Gandhiji at Sevakram is looked after by his daughter-in-law, Nirmala Gandhi. It was 1922. I was not yet married to Gandhiji's son. I was visiting my aunt, Kashi Ben Gandhi. One day, I saw her weighing items of food before cooking. I asked her the reason for this, as it had not happened even when many guests came. She said, today, Vinobaji is coming for dinner. He takes only 10 pice or cents worth of food in 24 hours. The reason for this was that in those days, a woman spinning for 8 hours earned only 10 pice. So Vinobaji would spin for 8 hours and also eat only that which could be bought for 10 pice. I wondered, what can we feed him in 10 pice? We were deeply impressed by his self-discipline and identification with the poor. The sons of Kashiban respected him like a guru. In 1941, Gandhiji chose Vinobaji as the first individual satyagrahi. He sent him forth with his blessings to offer civil disobedience. Vinobaji went to jail several times as a freedom fighter. After the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi in 1948, a meeting was held at Sevagram of persons associated with the Sarvodev movement, that is, upliftment of all. A lot of discussions took place about their future course of action. They looked to Vinobaji for leadership. The next meeting of Sarvodev workers was held in Sri Rampali. Vinobaji was a special invitee. He decided to go there walking and making contact with people on the way. From there, he proceeded further on foot into the region of Telangana. It had recently been the scene of a lot of violent clashes between landlords and tenants. Many lives were lost. 
a number of persons joined him in his mission for peaceful resolution of the conflict. It was April 18, 1951. We had reached the village of Pochampali and were given a very warm welcome. After a short rest, the respected Vinobaji went to the section of the village inhabited by Harijans, or so-called untouchables. They told him that they were able-bodied and wanted to till the land. They had no land. If they could have some land, that would provide them with a means of livelihood. The 40 Harijan families asked for just 80 acres of land. Vinobaji asked them to meet him in the afternoon. There, Vinobaji asked the gathering of landlords if anyone was willing to donate land. That way, the land hunger problem could be solved locally without any government intervention. Mr. Ramachandra Reddy offered to donate 100 acres of land in memory of his father. Vinobaji took it as a sign from God that people are willing to share their possessions with the needy. He announced Mr. Reddy's donation with gladness at the prayer meeting that evening. Vinobaji decided to pursue this vigorously as Bhudan, or land gift movement.